Hi guys, it's me again. You're probably thinking, oh my God, Helen, go away. Leave me alone. I just want to have a quiet Monday night at home on my own without you disrupting my Instagram every five seconds. Um, <laughs> so we are here at shirt reveal number 13 for the Shirts for Girls campaign uh, in, with working with Dear Football. I mentioned in the last live that I did, um, but I'm going to mention it again because well it's really impressive uh we've revealed the following clubs and national jerseys so far but we're not done by the way corinthians sweden psg liverpool new zealand everton inter milan bayern munich manchester united and juventus um i'm actually a football jersey collector i have like hundreds of football jerseys and every single one of these jerseys that's been revealed are to die for from the absolute perfection and beauty of that Inter Milan kit to the personal aspect of Mary Earp's iconic Manchester United jersey that was worn in one of her first seasons against Chelsea of all teams. They're all really special and unique. To win one of these amazing 13 jerseys or more than one, go for all of them, all you need to do is head over to www.theonegoal.org and donate on your chosen player or players. Lines close on the 1st of December 2020 and to be totally transparent there will be a live draw which will be computer generated which will reveal each of the winners of the jerseys. If anyone wants to get me an early Christmas present uh, then just donate £5 on any of the jerseys and I will cross my fingers that you win. <laughs> The One Goal has teamed up with Dear Football on this project. They're a Danish charity to support football projects all over African countries. We're raising money for a girls' academy in Uganda, which will be used for education programs, medical care, accommodation. I always smile when I say this, but football training. They do football training for girls in Uganda. I love it. And um, so much more educational programs and loads more. You can help to change lives by just giving five pounds. So. I am about to introduce player 13 um, in our amazing Shirts for Girls lineup. She played the full 90 minutes in the Bayern Munich versus Wolfsburg game yesterday, which they smashed 4 1. She was part of the Sweden World Cup squad that came third last year. I would love to welcome, feel very proud to welcome, drum roll. I like doing the drum roll. Drum roll. Oh, God. Yay! Hannah Glass! <laughs> I didn't think it was going to work. <laughs> hey. My heart just stopped. I was like, I'm just stood here going, drum roll. <laughs> how are you doing? I'm good, actually. How are you? You probably are really, really, really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't tell that. Um, thank you so much for donating your Sweden jersey. I am going to come on to the fixture, by the way, in a minute, because I will not get away with the buying buying Munich fans without asking you about it. So thank you for donating your Sweden jersey. I'm going to show everyone the jersey itself. Do you remember what game this was that you wore this for? Uh, yeah, actually it was in the Algarve Cup against um, Portugal. So no yeah, way. everyone... A fixture. Mm. What, do you remember what the score was? Yeah, we won with 2-0. Oh. Aslani score? Oh, I don't know... Fridolina scored, and Sofia Jakobsson. Uh, Sofia would kill you if you didn't remember that. She'd be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why do you remember I scored that goal? Um, so I am going to mention it. Congratulations on yesterday's result against Wolfsburg, two giants of the Bundesliga. Um, but you didn't just win it. You absolutely trounced them, as we say in England, 4-1. <laughs> um, win. I watched the fixture. You were so physical from the word minute one. Um, what was your game plan? What was the discussion in the dressing room? Uh, no, like we've been having a really good feeling like the entire season and the beginning of the season. And we, we feel like really strong together. And we said like, just play our game. And like, we know we are like a better team than Wolfsburg, apparently. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, they are also really good. No, but like yeah, just stick to our like the other games, like the same style of play that we usually had, and and we knew it was going to be successful too. 
and it was very, very successful. In fact, Wolfsburg only only goal came from the penalty spot, which kind of says everything. Yeah. Um, the physicality of your team, it was just unbelievable from the back all the way to the front, every position you would you guys were just so strong, you absolutely dominated. And um, so that gives you nine out of nine in the Bundesliga. <laughs> And you're the only team that have yet to lose a game. So I'm going to ask you the question. You're going to win the title, right? Uh, we know it's like a long way left, but that's what we're obviously like aiming for. So My signal's gone a bit. Oh, I lost you there. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, um, but, you, but basically what you said to me is, yes, we are 100% going to win the title. <laughs> It's a long way there, but we have like gotten ourselves in a good position, and we just to keep have to keep working hard to maintain this position. Yeah, you guys are going to meet each other again, and I think they'll have revenge on their hands. So yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Going back to the Sweden, um, so obviously you've given a Sweden jersey, and you've had an amazing couple of years in a Sweden jersey. Uh, it's crazy because going into the last World Cup, everybody was like Sweden are a brilliant team, but nobody was like. Sweden are going to go all the way. They're going to be Germany. They're going to be England. They're going to embarrass a lot of teams. Um, nobody was saying that. So now everybody's got their eyes on you. Everybody's got their focus on Sweden. But mm. how do you guys feel as a team? Do you think you can do it next time at the Euros? Um, it's hard. Like you said, it, we got like a lot more eyes on us now. Like in, We've been really successful in earlier championships and also the Olympics. But yeah, like I feel also we have a good team, we got a good chemistry and we've been continuing to working and developing our game. So I feel like we're also making progress together. But I also know like the competition is also getting tougher out there in, in, in the Europe and it's like so fun to see and like so many teams are also developing their game and getting better and improving. So it's going to be really tough. And I feel like sometimes the Euros can also be almost tougher than the, the, like, the World Cup or because there's so many good teams in, in Europe. So it's almost like a World Cup. And it's down to every game. It's a knockout tournament. So you have one bad moment and that's it. But yeah. Sweden are not having bad moments at the moment. So you guys are on fire. And I just was, I was looking at your squad list. I think it was only a couple of days ago. And the depth in your squad now um, as a national team, it's unbelievable. Like the youth players that are coming through, like players like Hannah Benison, but then you look at um, some of the legends like Aslani, who I've already mentioned. And yeah. Matt, these, these are iconic players. And you guys, the sky's the limit, really, for, for Sweden coming moving forward. It's so exciting. So yeah. what I'm going to do is I'm going to show everyone again the shirt that you've donated. And if you could just tell everyone how they could go about winning this, I'd, I'd really love it. <laughs> uh, so you have to go in and donate five pounds and then you'd be um, uh, in a draw where you have the opportunity to win my jersey. So please go in and donate as soon as possible so you have a chance to win it. Yeah. So guys, this is a signed match worn jersey. There is the signature. And it was worn during the Algarve Cup. Head over to the onegoal.org. Thank you so much for your generosity and giving us your piece. Like this is, you get one of these and you've given it to us. Honestly, it means the world. Thank you so much. Guys, thank you. <laughs> really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Bye. Oh, thank you for having me. Bye. See ya. See ya.